All right, so let's let's clear some things up real quick, just so people can understand. Uh, the dude who is perceived to be Dolph's brother, that's not his brother. That's actually his homie from the sandbox. You know, they call each other brothers. They treat each other like brothers, but that ain't that man, mama, son. So we got to clear that part up before we get into anything. But let's get into some more of it. Y'all ready? Let's go. It's your favorite local, especially after I spoke. Support the real again. Get rid of the fake, the F you to the industry. How do you fight back? It's simple. All you got to do is just press subscribe to join the movement over there on Instagram at C-E-D-D-Y-N-A-S-H. One word. That's where you and I can stay in contact. Plus, I'm going to personally follow you back, like your pictures, and all that. To the crew, that's the truth. We're out with the visionaries. The problem right now that we're having with the internet is that people want this clout so bad. And this ain't a diss towards anybody on YouTube. This is diss towards the cats on Facebook. <laughs> See, while we all over here on YouTube, it's cats on Facebook right now that's doing the most. They are passing around the young Dolph autopsy photos and everything like that. Let me tell y'all something, bro. That's foul. It's foul. It's straight up foul. First off, one of the worst things that happened to the internet is monetization. It's commercials. Because once we figured out how to put commercials in front of stuff and get paid, that started allowing people to just make stuff up on the spot. So now nah, you, you're going to see it on YouTube eventually. But it's all over Facebook right now. Then on top of that, on top of that, right? When y'all talk about Memphis and everything like that, bro, we got to make sure to shout out some cats in Memphis as well. Like, shout out to T-Money. You know, he's a comedian out of there. He does the, you know, he does. I've been watching Cuz for a minute. I've been watching Cuz for like two months. He does the, the skits. The skits like uh, if Scarface was in Memphis and everything like that and everything. And... We got to make sure that we do stuff like that because we are guests. I've been in Memphis a bunch of times, but we are guests in the house of Memphis. So make sure for all y'all who speaking on these subjects and everything like that, that at least y'all pick out some rappers and stuff like that, some entertainers and stuff like that. I'm challenging all bloggers to do this, whether you do it or not. That's completely up to you, but this is just something I just came with off the spot where we got to do that. You know, we got to show love to Project Pat and A-Ball and MJG, even though they're from Orange Mound. You know what I'm saying? We got to show love to 3-6 Mafia. We got to show love to the up-and-coming artists, like, you know, shout out to the Nightwoods, you know, C-E-O-E-B. Check her shit out, you know? Sis going stupid with it. But we got to do that. So... That's just what it is. It, it doesn't matter how we got here. Y'all got to make sure that y'all do it how it's supposed to go. And that's show love to Memphis because in about two weeks, some of y'all channels about to die off. Y'all still going to be coming here, but some of y'all channels is about to die off. And let's be honest, some of y'all need to. Y'all been putting up rappers' names and saying they are the killers. Y'all ain't even saying allegedly. Y'all say entertainment purposes and all this stuff and everything like that. Let me tell you something, homie. The feds just touched down. The feds just touched down in Memphis. It's going up right now. So Memphis been with the shit and everything. Niggas been getting killed. But right now, the spotlight that's on Memphis is like a spotlight that's on Los Angeles. And the spotlight that's on South Central and like Jacksonville. A couple of places in Florida, because even Miami and Orlando slight weight going up too, and New York. So the feds have touched down. I just want y'all to know, y'all be careful out there, because it's about to get worse for a lot of people. Y'all expect me to keep it real? Because you know that I will. I do this daily, baby. Check out the Nightly Nash podcast. Also, Street of Music, Setting Nash, if you have not. It's on all streaming platforms. Guaranteed you're going to find something you like. Probably like that overly thugging freestyle. Or maybe something different. Let me know in the comments. We possibly shoot that music video. 